to be. That is definitely not something Koki wants to see, but uh, smart play right there. Right there. The sun, three three feet, so no protection. Oh, three feet, will connect with Tayoga. Oh, oh, no! Tayoga will go down! What is going on, everybody? It's me, Snooze, VGC. And this video is going to be a little bit different with everybody scrambling for worlds and wanting to make sure that they have the meta breaking call. You won't find that here. <laughs> well, maybe not at first. Um, but so I'm going to be going over two Pokemon that have been commonly used in the meta throughout uh, the whole season but I think haven't really seen these sets very often. And I think they could be um, surprising to your opponent and they could maybe put you in a good advantage. So the first one is Incineroar. Surprise, surprise, surprise. But we're going 2016 hit mud top turned into Incineroar Incineroar. So we all know that Wolf used eject button in 2016 with his hit mud top. But in this meta, I feel like for sure that Incineroar is the better option because of its typing and it's a uh, bulk and with eject button it can give you the option to reset the field or to switch out of a, a situation that isn't favorable and then switch back into something that is so i'll show you some examples in the video the second one is destiny bond mega gengar so we all know how good mega gengar is but i've never really seen somebody use destiny bond effectively so destiny bond can be used um to get good traits especially with Gengar being so fast there aren't many things that can outspeed it I mean if you know something's gonna KO and your Gengar can't do anything maybe a destiny bond throw up a destiny bond take something down with you just claim their soul and it might be enough to get you where you need to be to pull the match out so I'll show you some examples I'll start off with Incineroar so in this game I'm gonna show you some some of the benefits of Incineroar with inject button so you got Kyogre you got Gengar right here um i got the rain and he gets his son so i i lose the weather war here and the the incinero that i have is max bulk pretty much it's 252 hp 68 attack uh 34 defense and like 154 152 special defense careful nature lets it live a grout on earth power and uh adamant uh precipice blade at negative one so we get the fake out here. He doesn't even, I don't even have to worry about the Groudon. It's intimidated. I know I can bring in my Kyogre now to take the hit. It's gonna go, it's gonna take the hit. Not yeah. even do half to my Kyogre, which is fantastic. And then I also have the option now to bring in my Incineroar again, get another Intimidate off because they can't switch out because my Gengar is there. And it pretty much, I can just clear the field here. So I just clear the field, two to four, got my incineroar it has it hasn't used fake out yet i can u-turn it just benefit in just so many ways it was just i just think it's such a good item on incineroar and and it's just so good here's another example so we have the groudon versus salamance and i bring out my xerneas and my tornado so this isn't a great place for me to be because Salamence can outspeed my Xerneas and it's just going to do massive damage. And so here I'm like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't really want to switch out into my Kyogre because it's just going to get hurt a lot too. But I have a super bulky, very, you know, great utility Incineroar in the back that can easily take a hit and switch back out into something else. So I get the Tailwind up for the speed control. Doesn't even do half. It's just like Incineroar is just so good. Like it, it really is. Switch out to my Kyogre knowing that's an Intimidated. And boom, again, doesn't even do half. And this isn't even bulky Kyogre. This is max offense, max speed, max special attack. I have the Tailwind up there. I just have all the options in the world right now. He can switch if he wants, but I still have my Z move on Tornadus. I still have Origin Pulse. Um, I can I can do kind of whatever I feel like I have the advantage now all because of that one switch with intimidate switching out to something else resetting the board giving me the advantage I think you guys could really should try this out if you already haven't it's a great item to put on in center bar and if you just make it offensive enough to do what you need it to do then it'll it'll sh serve you well I think my Kyogre actually just died there. <laughs> so here's here's Gengar now with Destiny Bond that I'm going to kind of show off. So 
Lunala and Amoongus can be pretty tough for the team that I have currently. Um, but I know he's probably in a Rage Powder. And I have Knockoff on my Ferrothorn. So I'm just going to Destiny Bond, hoping that he that he just goes into the Gengar. Even if he doesn't, he can't touch Gengar at next until next turn. you know. And so I'll, I'll, he'll be safe. And so he goes for the Rage Powder. I go for the Destiny Bond. I, he probably thought I was going to protect, so he just goes for the Z-Move. And I just take Lunal down with me. Get the Knockoff. Do half. Get rid of his Berry. And... I feel like, and that was just such a good trade personally for my team because I needed to get rid of Lunala. It is so good. It's so strong. So now I have the option to bring in um, any of my restricted from the back or even whatever I brought. What I think I, I think I brought Kyogre and I brought Incineroar. But I bring that in in the back and it gives me just the opportunity to reset the board, take full control and get a good trade. I would gladly trade a Gengar for a Lunala. And so that's just one of those one of those uses that it can be used for. And you'll notice that it really does really well at the beginning of turns, like at the beginning of the game, because that's usually when most people are just kind of hitting or trying to set up. And so it's most it's best used as a lead, but it can be used really good in the back as well. Here's another example of Gengar being used as a good lead when it's not very advantageous for you. So I have my Xerneas, have my Gengar. Obviously, my opponent's side of the field walls the crap out of my Xerneas. Like, what's it gonna do? It's just gonna roll over and die. So I'm just like, well, crap, bro. What the, well, you know, what are this? What do I do? And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna protect my Xerneas and I'm gonna go for a Destiny Bond with my Gengar. I'm either taking the Groudon or the Aegislash. Either way, that's good for my team. Boom. Groudon is gone. Just like that. I had to trade my Mega for it, but that is so much more beneficial to me right now because now I can bring in my Kyogre, not having to worry about the rain, and I can just start firing off. It's a free switch in, and he brings in Incineroar. So I just have full control here. So he can either fake out my Xerneas and get killed by my Kyogre or fake out my Kyogre and let me get a Geomancy up. It's, and so he can Z move me here if he is Z move, but my Xerneas is pretty bulky. So I think it can take it after a plus two in special defense. So I'm not super worried. I mean, all I have to worry about is a critical hit. That's a risk you have to take anytime you play this game. So I just, so from that one turn one move, it really set the whole game in my favor now like i said this does do well the best as a lead so it so in a best of two it starts with the mind game if the lead they know that you have destiny bond you can you can you can play with it your your opponent has to read you pretty much and if you're good at reading your opponent getting inside their head and and making the right call then i think this is an awesome awesome lead for you guys so that's it for this video, just a short video guys. I hope you liked it and let me know what you think of the sets. Have you used them before? Have they been good for you? Um, but let me know. Thanks for watching guys.